What is compassion? Is to have the the strong wish, the strong motivation that others be free from suffering and that which causes them suffering. In other words, that one looks into the lives of others. One is one is uh, sufficiently uh, able to step outside one's own so-called urgent needs and step out of the, beyond those walls of self-interest and look into another's life or look into others' lives. And when we do, honestly, then we see there's so many ways in which people are caught up in suffering, whether it be emotional suffering, whether it be the, the physical sufferings of, of old age, of sickness, of, of death and so on. In a way, the whole world is just full of, of suffering. Every nook and cranny has its tears. So we feel that. But we've, so it's a big kind of radical step to, to, to open our eyes and our heart to that. And when we do, it's inevitable that the thought will arise in us, the feeling arises, may they be free from suffering. May they come to be free from everything that troubles them, that locks them into to suffering. And in thinking that, then we also ask ourselves the question, and what is it that brings about suffering for others? What is it that locks them into this, this, these, all these difficulties, into this misery? And the answer is finally, actually, it's their mistaken way. Just like my suffering is caused by my mistaken perception of the world and all the negative emotions, desire, hatred, and so on that flow from that. So, to me, the source of most of the suffering that afflicts others is, is in a way, lying in their own actions. So, one must not just wish them to be free from the immediate experience of suffering, but to come to live in such a way that ensures this, they won't lock themselves further into suffering. In other words, may they be free from suffering and the cause of suffering. And the cause of suffering, I say, are this, the, the disturbing emotions, desire, hatred, and, and pride, and jealousy, which, which lock people so firmly into negative ways of acting, which produce not happiness as they hope, but just suffering. Because they're beating their head against the wall of reality, just as I've been doing. So compassion is that. It is not merely a sentiment or a, 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 a fleeting emotion. It has a, a kind of wisdom and an intelligence. It, it looks accurately into what is a suffering experienced by beings and uh, then ask what is the cause. So there must always be a measure of intelligence and wisdom accompanying compassion. And that ensures it is not a merely a sentimental response that one feels good about having. In compassion, there's no stress on I, there is stress only on others. <laughs>